And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort. Under new ownership, discover some of the amazing updates that have gone into one of Cape May's most iconic properties. And check out Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill with an all-new menu and seven days of entertainment, including dueling pianos. Book your getaway or visit today. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me on the NorCast Weather Channel. I'm Nor'easter Nick in the Weather Center, here to tell you something that, well, I don't want to be Captain Obvious over, but it's hot outside. But at least the humidity has backed off from yesterday. Dew points this afternoon falling down into the 50s in some circumstances. So it's a, what do they say out in Vegas? Oh, it's a, it's a dry heat, right? 89 right now in Philadelphia, 80 in Atlantic City, 91 in Washington, 91 in Richmond, some 70s out to the west at this hour. So I think the temperatures are in a good spot. You can go to the beach, you can lay out by the pool. No matter what you do, Mother Nature is cooperating and we are starting to see a little bit more of that sea breeze develop at the beaches. There was a period of time where the beaches were almost just as warm as the mainland. 89 in Hamilton, 91 in Marlton, 89 in Trenton, 88 in Media. Same thing in Vineland and Fortescue and Dover. Not bad, not bad at all because the dew points have come down. 58 degrees out there for most of our mainland communities, obviously a little bit higher, closer to larger bodies of water where more moisture is in the atmosphere. The rest of the afternoon is looking good. A few fair weather cumulus clouds here and there. I think tonight, overnight into tomorrow morning, clouds are going to try to come in off the ocean. There's actually a little system passing by to the south and east that could promote a couple isolated showers on the far western edge of it. But aside from that, we should be dry with sun and clouds mixing on your uh, Thursday afternoon. Same thing on Friday, maybe an isolated shower or storm on Friday afternoon. F some fog is possible tonight. Dew points and air temperatures come close together. Uh, humidity is going to start to rise a little bit. Temperatures in the upper 60s, so not extremely comfortable out there. We'll wake up to some clouds, especially to the southeast tomorrow, about 74 degrees. Then in the afternoon, Mid and upper 80s does it with higher humidity. It's not going to be oppressive still, but we are going to be bringing the dew points back into the uh, low, maybe middle 60s, and then we'll slowly back our temperatures down into the 70s for your Thursday night. 85 on Friday, clouds to start transitioning over to a partly sunny look, and just be on the lookout for a random passing shower or thunderstorm. This takes us to our seven-day forecast, and yeah, I mean, look, we're average to slightly above average in the temperature department, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It does look like the 90s are still going to try to creep in here. But as I've been saying consistently for the past couple weeks, it is extremely hard to kind of turn this train around. We are seeing more average to slightly below average temperatures for the summer season as a whole. And it still doesn't look like consistent hot weather is going to be an easy feat. So we'll see. Everybody have a great day, everybody.